I have a family too, Alice, and my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, her name's Kira. She's seven. I'm supposed to be seeing her today, but there's this killer. Oh, my. She draws the little boy in. Her eyes widen at the sight of her wings. <laughs> <laughs> she gently yeah, like, This looks like a new blade inset on a much older handle. The fitch, the fitch, the fitch. <laughs> so nervous. Um, <laughs> The bitch. <laughs> the bitch is a bitch. Uh, the bitch is a bitch. Uh, I'm the smart one. Uh, Semiotically uh, speaking, universal wayback symbol of fecundity. It's like like long before love. I don't know who can see me. <laughs> These wings, though, they're in, they're anomalous. I'm sorry. Uh, seriously, what was she on about? <laughs> I have no idea. She's just weird. Sorry, sorry. I'm going off on a total tangent there. So if she's not dead, we need to find her. Like find out what she knows. Oh, that was Crystal. That was Crystal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they have lots of no. Um, okay, sorry, going off on a tangent there. Um, if she's not dead, we need to find we need to find her, find out what she knows. I can't play anybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going back to being Beth. Impersonating a dead officer, that's like a whole new crime. I think I'm safest with the cops, Pete. Did that actually just come out of your mouth? <laughs> Look, Art's already looking for the killer. I shadow him as Beth, let them find out what's happened to her, where she is, if she's still alive. When I know that, I can jump off and deal. Deal? Oh my god, I'm beginning to realize that crazy is genetic. <laughs> On Cosima, as un, uh, under the following, she's opening up the German's briefcase. Ooh, remember the German? <laughs> she's looking through the other clones' IDs, their attached hair samples. Well, Brad, uh, Brad Brick demonstrate can be genetic, but uh, environment is individual. That's the nature nurture question, right? Okay, let's talk nature. Out of nine so far, one's a psycho who killed four others, one committed suicide, one's a bloody soccer mum, and then there's you. My crazy sister is sane by comparison. Thanks, V. <laughs> well, this could help us figure out where she's coming from. I'll look into it. A text alert. Shit. Uh, police business. It's a dash. <laughs> oh, police business. Oh, it's got lead. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, didn't you show this? You, you didn't show this to Allison, did you? Please, she's crap with Lululemon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. <laughs> I've got her on standby. And this is headed. Oh, wow. The introduction of Dawn. Her husband. Dawn. 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 Uh, sticks his head in, ready to leave, car keys in hand. She thrusts thrust the knapsack at him. Make sure Gemma wears her seatbelt. Oh, this is good. <laughs> they were a hot couple when they met back in high school. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. <laughs> now he's mid thirties, paunchy, receding, aggressive, <laughs> <middle -lighted. laughs> Currently, life is kid chaos. Both parents ad living them out to the car. You're sending the kids to your parents on a school morning. They're staying the night. That's not an answer. You didn't pose it as a question, Donnie. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why did you cancel all their activities? I just need some time to myself. What? What? You've got your usual Thursday night drinks and plans. Yes? Yes. Well, then I'll probably see you when you come crashing in at 3 a.m., won't I? Crashing. <laughs> um, I'm scanning. Her blazer's too small. She takes the lay of the land. Jolts as Raj passes with a cart of ID, IT hardware. Beth, nice hat. Vinyl, rock on. <laughs> Sorry, uh, rough night? <laughs> Okie dokie then. <laughs> 
she follows the signs. Ducks and nods, uh, uh, waves from the colleagues, <laughs> reveal a slight stain on her abdomen, which is flushed red, fresh blood. <laughs> she goes into the squad room and uh, sees all the huge evidence board where she says, <laughs> uh, the guy in there obeys and she stands there ch looking at it all, at the picture, the label Jane Doe, partially facial reconstruction, <coughs> sure with rifle, on Kachan, on, on <laughs> She's fascinated. Now we're in an abandoned church. It's disused and overgrown. Sarah's tents with Art and DeAngelis huddled at their vehicles. A squad officer is with them. Uh, what? <laughs> Anybody else feel like they, they got a target on their back? A radio crackles. Uh, all, all, all clear, all clear. <laughs> Church, they're still looking at the hieroglyphics. She led us here. She wanted us to see this. Maybe it's a wild goose chase. I, I just wasting our time. No, no, no. She has a reason. Okay, let's let uh, let's get forensics on this. Head back. I want to revisit our motives. Hope you don't have dinner plans. I'll be right with you. Oh, uh, we're in Felix's loft, and uh, <coughs> he's in his paint-splashed apron and bare butt, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, reveal he's buck naked beneath his apron, his bare ass on display. I will not. In my imagination, does Casino have bigger breasts than you? Sarah's on her cell phone with him, staring at the streepy stick figures. There's no way I can make dinner with Kira tonight. Sarah, you have to. I can't. I'm stuck with art, um, and this bitch is right on top of me. I, I could lead you straight to Kira. Well, Mrs. S gave you an ultimatum. She'll cut you off. Rock in a hard place here, Pete. Yeah, at your permanent address. <laughs> I do have one really idiotic idea. Oh, good. <laughs> I need to be in two places at once, right? Yeah. But well, if anybody could do that, we can. Are you effing serious? <laughs> Sadly, I am. In the police oh, reverse Pygmalion here. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the squad room, messed up her hair, holding potential outfits that could pass as Sarah. Uh, these are your worst clothes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mate. I don't shop every night. <laughs> okay, it's not, not mate. It's like it's more like mine, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's better. You need to get past Mrs. S. You've got to play the dreary history there. You know, you basically wound the talk. Your shirt is all wrong. Hey! No, not hey. You're a punk. Be one. Oi! <laughs> Christ. Uh, outside the police precinct, uh, Paul and Sarah le lean... Uh, Characters that aren't um, in, in or that are fallible, that are complicated and and, and contrary and um, conflicted within themselves, and do one thing and say something else, and you know that's that's what I'm interested in. And I think that that there is such a, a like branding of you know this is what a strong female character is, and, and it's often somebody who is, who has. A, acquired male traits or has taken over a male position in a story. And what I love about our story is that it puts a bunch of different kinds of women from different experiences with different perspectives in in their own stories. Um, and it's not, you know, they aren't occupying one space, they're occupying ten. Um, and, that is, and, and that's all across the board, you know, in terms of the, the, the female characters. I don't feel like it's a burden at all. <laughs> remotely, no. See, now I'm getting off. Now you did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to borrow, man. Um, and it's not that I won't miss everybody else in the cast, because we're all a big family and I love everybody to death. But uh, 
and I told her this uh, specifically, specifically, I think. <laughs> uh, I told her uh, a couple months ago, I said, you've ruined me to all other number ones on every other show that I work on. Because, um, because I've, had, I've had the good fortune of being able to work on other series and, and bounce around and see how other casts work and don't work, uh, and how other number ones work. Uh, not even work, but how they treat others and expect to be treated. And it's not always this, as I speak about you, in, in, you know, in, in, in this <laughs> but it's, it's not always this. And, and, and Tad is just a, a special person who, uh, even when you, you come in and you have only one line to do, uh, she welcomes you in. And, and she says she's so glad to have you as part of it because she realizes that it takes everybody to make the show what it is. And if you got one line, no lines, all the lines in the scene, it's about all of us coming together and making something special. And not everyone realizes that. Not all number ones realize that. It's all about the soy foam, triple double cappuccino, and if we don't have enough foam, then, every, then the day is ruined. And, uh, and it's, it's hard when guests are coming in and trying to fit in and, and not screw up the show. Uh, a kind word from the star of the show goes a long way, and, and I think Tad understands that. And, it's, uh, it's permeated through the entire company, through the entire cast, through the entire crew, and it's a wonderful place to come in and work. Even when you're having a shitty day, you, uh, you kind of come in and, and you're ready to work because uh, if she's carrying as much weight as she does and smiles about it, what business do you have being a, a, you know, a, you know, a killjoy? You know, so uh, that's another show. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. So that's what I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss that sort of feeling that's, that starts from the top and works its way down through the Watching amazing leadership, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what's cool about it is that it's not just. I think that's what I. One of the things that I learned the most about watching Tad, you. I feel weird saying Tad because I'm looking right at you. Watching, <laughs> like what talent and and work ethic and uh, all of those things. That's all represented on the screen. But this other thing that happens off the screen that you guys aren't um, privy to is this extraordinary sense of leadership, and it's. Um, it's just amazing to watch every decision made by you never be in the interest of self-glorification, that it's always in the interest of this other thing, this like really artistic, really amazing collaborative thing. And that is like an impossible thing to do because we're human beings and sometimes we're just like trained to, to make those decisions sometimes out of the interest of self, but you don't do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this family, like I'm gonna miss and the family includes the clone club and includes, you know, everybody who has talked to us, you know, thank you for for talk, for telling your story. Thank you for, you know, thanking us and, and like we're just so grateful. Um I just feel so grateful to have had this group of people with me every single day. I mean it's just been I don't even know what to say. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I've been told that we are running short on time. So we have 